Now let's head to Egypt, where visitors will, from July this year, pay more than twice the current amount in visa fees. Egypt plans to increase the cost of a single entry visa from the current $25 to $60, while multiple entry visas will cost about $70. Tourism players see the move as ill-advised at a time when the country is trying to shore up its visitor numbers. An October 2015 crash by a Russian airliner prompted many European governments to suspend flights to Egypt hurtling its a tourism sector. Now, of course, Russia is yet to res resume flights to the popular Red Sea resort of Sharm el-Sheikh, and the effects on the economy are certainly bad. Well, let's get more from Adele El Marouki. He's joining us there in Cairo. Adele, welcome to the show. Now, we know resorts in the country are currently operating at 25 to 35 uh, percent capacity. Well, that's according to the Ministry of Tourism. Why would the government make the decision to increase uh, visa fees, given the fact that Egypt's tourism sector is still struggling to recover? It's definitely still struggling and uh, um, the government's um, decision has been met by fury from um, tour operators here um, in Egypt. Uh, the government says that it has been noticing a trend in increasing um, the visas in uh, the region and it sees that with that increase, um, nothing significant could impact um, the tourism industry. Um, also, um, Egypt believes that it is finalizing the return uh, for tourists from the UK and Russia, two of the biggest uh, tourist exporters to Egypt. Uh, and as that is about to finalize, some are saying it shows confidence among the government that it is quite sure it will happen and that the increase will not have any impact. On the other hand, on the contrary, you have tour operators saying that um, increasing um, the, the, the visa entry uh, for, for about $35 um, dollars at least for one person, uh, if we're talking about a family, this could go up to more than $140. Um, tour operators here claim that such a number could affect um, the ch uh, foreigners to choose their destination to Cairo and switch to any other um, cheaper option. So it is raising, of course, a debate, and the timing has been quite critical. Mm. Well, Adele, give us an update on the security situation right now in the country, especially in tourist areas uh, such as Sharm el Sheikh. Well, tourist areas have been quite strong in terms of security. Um, this has been the case for several um, years. We had one incident happening in Cairo during um, the political shift after 2013, uh, where a tourist bus in um, central uh, downtown, in central Cairo um, area, has been um, shot with gunfires with uh, very little injuries. Uh, but Sharm el Sheikh in itself is a fortress. Sharm el Sheikh is one of the safest cities in Egypt. It's a place that um, the Egyptian presidency doesn't hesitate to host multinational leadership conferences in it where leaders from the region and the world would come um, for several days staying there for conventions um, like the economic conference like um, the African and Arab uh, League uh, and Arab parliaments that has been held um, later uh, last year so uh, Sharm el-Sheikh Hergeda have been known for their uh, strict security measures um, and have not been um, targeted, at least so far, with any um, concerning um, attack. Uh, most of the turbulences, uh, security-wise, is in the North Sinai um, area uh, near the um, Gaza borders, which is quite a volatile area and hasn't been um, a sort of a, a main touristic attraction at that time. Mm. Well, Adele, certainly according to the tourism industry, the sector is doing much better after we've seen visitors uh, visitor numbers uh, fall significantly before. What do the numbers actually say now? Well, basically, we've seen some countries lifting their travel bans. Mainly um, recently, we've seen Scandin uh, European Scandinavian countries um, lifting um, their um, ban to Egypt. Now, these are not major um, exporters of tourists to the country, but at least we're seeing bigger numbers. As you said, we're, we're talking about around 25% um, occupancy rates. That's quite a significance. But Overall, we're coming from a very tough year. The Russian airplane crash back in October 2015 had terrible impact on the industry. Um, the revenues from 2016 were about $3.4 billion. That's 44% less revenues in the industry from 2015, the previous year. 
what will happen in 2017 many are expecting it's becoming um, better we're seeing more um, trips uh, from um, European countries in particular to Egypt Sharm el Sheikh um, airport is starting to receive more flights her the same uh, same way but it's definitely far from being back to normal right well many thanks for those insights Adele Adele El Marui joining us there in Cairo